welcome back guys so my name is vivek this is the continuation of the last part we completed in the last session lesson session number five we completed about that uh, what that we completed uh how to run load balancer in our how to implement load balancer in our application by using think line okay we completed like that we implemented load balancer in the five servers okay and what is the load balancer we completed and by using load balancer how we can achieve that uh, uh, zero downtime okay we when the server is failed the request go into the next servers like that in the round robin the last session i have shown you in the a practical view all these things i have shown you in the practicals okay so now today's session is totally today agenda is this, the session number six so I just I don't want to waste your time to run uh, the previous example. Okay, the previous example just it's uh, running. Okay, so you can run. Why follow the my steps which I have prepared? I'm share the notes on the, my Facebook group also. So today's agenda is the implement. Wait, today's agenda is implement like API gateway and implement ticket away filter chain. Okay. Chain, filter chain. Okay. So we implement today two things. First, we need to go API gateway. So before that go, I just I want to explain this what is the API gateway. API gateway is the nothing but is the entry point of your application. Is the entry point of your application. And this is the filter. These the API gateway perform two things. First is the filter the request, second the route the request. If the filter means if the your authorization, you like with the valid body valid, all this thing is valid, then the route you request to that particular API. Like suppose you need to hit you hit in the API gateway, so you just API gateway, API gateway URL, API gateway URL is localhost 9090. Okay, this is the your API gateway URL we have. I need to route the request to that your uh, this server like greeting API. So greet API like that, but in the real time. But the, in the real time, greeting API having a different URL and API is the having different URL. So API gateway is doing like map this all these things and map all these things with that API gateway through the service registry. Then API gateway also is the client as client for that uh, service registry. So just go and just I'm going to implement this. So this is the last class is working. Okay, if you want to go and run, these, these are servers are running. Okay, right now servers are running. The two API is there. Okay, so Jipkin, how much traces are there? Which API you hit it right now? This is the greeting API, hello web API right now. So here just hit that the server is performing. Okay, the load balancer is performing. So now just I need to create one API gateway, right click. Create as a microservices, microservice one, the string starter project we need. Here we put it FIP API gateway, API gateway, right. So Maven jar is required ITSP count dot. So next, here you can select the the tool it's uh, acting as the client for the Eureka registry so you need Eureka discovery and one more thing if it is required is bring web okay so now these things are required for this next and finish okay now it's implemented it's it is running okay. so now this is the api gateway so we take a cloud gateway 
one dependency is required cloud get so after that project i will add this dependency also get project is created just right click on the uh, right click on the form and the stream is add a starter cloud get you can search cloud cloud get away yeah. or you can search get away get away reactive get away you can select right click next and okay let's select this form finish right add it the dependency is required i have mentioned here okay i have mentioned this here so i need this work as a what is that i need to work as a if uh, client discovery client for that my app for a registry so what we need to do enable that discovery client. enable discovery client enable discovery that's it save this and try to run let's see now here it's uh, providing a port number not no so just i need to pay it with server dot port Okay, equals to I need to nine zero nine zero. Let's save it. Okay, uh, we need to remove the Spring MBC dependency. Here yes, we got it. I think so. Web user. Okay, we remove this dependency. Not required. Save this and restart the again. Okay, now it's up. Let's see, is in the registered or not? Yeah, it's unknown right now. Okay, code number also not taking. Okay, just check here. Save this server dot port equals to. Let me check. Up status is up unknown okay we need to stop this and mm -hmm. form.xml eureka right okay right change the convert into the what is file okay converted yml first yeah Server dot put. I update the Maven update. Okay. Update this one. Now run. Uh, change this if it's taking any argument, right? Okay. Uh. You pay it away 909. Now it's it should be there okay now here you can say five api gateway is there like that you can check instead of five just api gateway okay save and down is the ah, now api gateway is so i need to configure this uh our application our application our API URL with that your API get be like a route that application redirect your application. So we need some configuration like that. What is that? This one. Okay. We need this URLs like application variable. We completed port we provided. Okay. Where is the port? And we provide the port here. We provide YML file. Spring port up to this is you know that very well. Now, here new thing is the cloud getaway like route. Route is there. Hello app. Suppose we have a hello app, web API is there. Hello app. You can just provide anything here in the ID. Is the ID URI URI take from where this is take from registry. Take from registry right take from registry and predicates which url you map to that which url suppose the local like 909 
909. I want to hit V1 with that V1 all URL I need. So by using this, it's hitting all the URL which are available inside that V1 controller. V1 gets the API. Now next ID is V implement. Second API is the great API still. Okay, ID you can provide it. Load LB means it's a load balancer. Okay, load balancer we provided the greeting API you provide. So predicate is a V2. Okay. So in in our case, we don't have a beauty kind of thing, just we have a one one UR. So we need to do this. Okay. So just going to do a spring dot cloud. Cloud dot getaway dot route route on route is there. Let me check route is not the it should be route, yeah. Okay, route enable predicates. No, no, no. This one is not a route. Mm -hmm. Uh, spring log get a bit dot route to get a bit dot route get a bit dot route no no it should take a routes route routes perfect no routes inside the route we need to pass id ID we take ID 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 first we have app for okay, what is that app hello say hello ID say say hello right in the say hello we have URI URI colon LB plus plus load balancer we need LB load balancer hello API here you can check inside this load balancer we have now this was the hello verb see and the now predicate the data predicates <clears throat> the spelling is correct let me check yeah predicates okay predicates inside the predicates we have a path Path equals to path equals to what is the path in the hello API we have in the hello you can check inside the hello say hello hello slash something like hello slash something okay hello slash hello slash hello slash like a star anything is there okay like a star double star okay. so first we completed and next we put it ID for that uh, ID I think what is for <clears throat> greeting greeting API greeting API okay. so now URI for that greeting URI colon jlv slash slash jlv slash slash inside this load balancer you can check so oh. Pass that for and next predicate we need predicates colon path path equals to slash what is that greet API inside the greet API let me check greet message okay greet slash name greet slash name so what is that uh, mm -hmm. I will change that okay don't worry. So greet greet slash star and star. Save this. No, let's see if it is status down. Up up status is up. Now I uh, right now missing pencil machine. What is that machine we have? Okay, some point of time it is missing. Greet slash this thing right save it it is missing it is saying the cancel local also let me check it should be up 
let me think here it is not loading pretty good path is perfectly yeah let it up not up Wait, I need to restart again. Restart. This is up. Cancel missing entity. Something like endpoint, it is not finding uh, related to this. Hello, Bab. Uh, let me check once again. So here we have greeting of a hello, Bab. Perfectly, we mentioned LB slash hello, Bab. Mm -hmm. And go, we go. Okay, get red uh, here products plus okay, some mm, okay, LV colon LV colon okay, LV colon pretty good. So, perfect thing is this is. Oh, let me check. Great, we have and hello, we have. Now we right now we don't have we don't we not required to hit by using this URL. You just hit nine zero nine local host. That's let's restart this again. Okay. Yeah, it is cancelling that okay, not a big dish. Let me I think this is space is not any right. Okay, save it. We start again. Now let's register or not. Yeah, now we are getting so now. Previously, we can uh, run our application by using these URLs. Using here, you can see. Now we are getting this also. Now by using getting this also, now we have an API gateway URL also. Local host. What is that point? Nine zero nine zero slash v one not v one greet greet slash v one right. Now we get the URL, right? Load balancer is performing a great API. And we need to hit what is that? URL. Great API is done. Hello. 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 Like right? now. Now here we can hit in RAM also. So we get that load balancer also. Okay. So now this is the now what is the entry point of our each microservices? We have entry point of local host, right? So I need to change one more. I need to add one more add point for this. Mm -hmm. So inside this, go in the practical point of view. I'm going to show you discuss with you. The API gateway is perfectly understood, right? So I need to add one more inside the greeting API. I need to add. Okay. So here, just one need to application a public. Return a string say <clears throat> nice to me to me to so just return a simple message hello hello nice to meet you nice to meet you meet you right so here we put it on URL so at the rate get a mapping Mapping slash green slash set. So when we hit the greet API, okay, it will hitting this URL. Let me refresh this again. Now let's see if it is running. Yeah. So now what is that endpoint? Local host. 9090 slash grid name is not good. we get it great as the filter 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 let me check yeah 
not this. <laughs> okay, so we need to uh, change that uh, greet green. Yeah, that okay, green is there, not a greet. Okay. Let me bring this. Okay, HTTP get green accept and handling pub handler. So check end point, check end point. Okay, why? Well, because local host we not mention, huh? so we mention only git, <laughs> only greet in the. Where inside the application dot we mentioned greet, so we need to pass as a greet also. So let me speak. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need to pass. Okay. This is greet. Inside we put it. Insert greet. It save it then let me check on now hit wait message is coming on message is not coming because it is not identifying that request well, because he we not mention inside that by ml for for this so we need to what is that copy this id to see and paste again greet api id greet api to nice nice same thing what is the meaning of the data Something, something, something. Okay, we take it. Okay, it's okay. Now, less ID colon greed. Nice. Okay. 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 Then URI, same URI I need. LB colon slash less. For oh, the hyphen greet greeting API slash predicate predicates colon what is that all okay if it is possible you can pass here let me check if it is possible path hyphen path equals to slash greet check okay save this uh, if it is perfectly up it's coming yeah you get to be a greet you know yeah, yeah, yeah. It well, it, it is not finding it is not possible to hit that URL. You can see mm -hmm. you can do. Mm -hmm. What we need to do? We need to okay in the code side. What we need to do in the code side where we are in it. I just put the one root URL for the direct to get quest mapping. Request request mapping and pass last <coughs> what is that <coughs> greet okay slash so greet so here is not required also not required slash so this one this one also not required greet greet you can pass here also not required yes it will take out of the key Okay, save it. Okay, slash just pass and slash save it. Pass the slash and the biml file inside the biml file. Greet. No, this one is not. So we need to pass star. Okay, save this. 
what is that error? Why it's so good? With this, now let me check. Now it's finally. So now let me hit greet. Not right now, not hitting. Also not finding some error. Let me check which error. Yeah, I get to error is getting not. Error creating with the register listener not single with this description do not require to be okay. So greet and discuss so we need to pass in so what we need to do is faulty polyvara list there. Hmm. Here we can take V1, okay. Slash V1. Here we need to take greet. Slash or also we need to take greet here. So greet ki jaga, we can take something else like nice. Nice. Okay. Save slab. Save it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just go and YML inside of YML, just take V1, right? Uh, same example which I have prepared here, V1 with less, right? The start is start. Now let's see what happened. Let's see what happened right now. Same is happening, right? Same is data is not coming. Great slash we wait, right? This data is this is also not coming or because here okay v1 take as a v1 okay v1 v1 slash did we get it and here yeah, just nice to meet you with c greet uh, we change or not nice we take it. see nice now here you can see we can take hello, nice to meet you. We get the response from which. So suppose uh, if you want to multiple URL, so just you declare one root URL for root URL for API and API that root URL v1, and you can just mention in that YML file with that star like v1 dot this and greet also you can check if you have multiples like in the API in the real time we don't have single method single method in that that uh, controller we have multiple APIs multiple methods so we need to put one put one root URL for that root URL for that root endpoint root request mapping root mapping and then you can pass the sum so just pass the star and the star so it will automatically detect it so now how much we completed guys. So now we implemented API gateway. So up to this, we completed. Up to this, we completed, right? Up to this, we completed, right? So one thing is that routed is completed. Guys. Routed is completed. We are routing the request. We need to filter. We need to implement a filter. So we need to implement a filter. We have a one, what is that? One uh, API gateway is providing a global thing. So, okay, go inside that. Okay, inside this. Okay, in the API gateway. Mm -hmm. Not run. New. It's a package. Do select a package. Com dot filter. Select a filter. And I click new class. Class my filter my filter add one interface like global global filter interface is there that is providing a spring cloud finish add 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 and finish do that and yeah okay add it finish now global filter give one uh, method called the filter so here you just pass that uh, 
end points here you just pass that filter kind of thing first we need to filter your request then send to the route request route the request if your filter is good correct if your request is correct so you can pass to that another request another like uh, your api with that your api after that filter performing so in the exchange method in the exchange method we have a request so first we get the we need to put a headers right over right here we can modify the headers so first we get the request so uh, exchange exchange dot get request okay we get the request for that exchange so which request you are sending http ser server dot server server http http okay which this is written wait let me check this is server http request server 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 http http request server http request is really like request perfect now here server request is ready suppose here if we modify that request here just using uh, request so i need to send the request from where in the browser i need to get the data so where the request is coming so what we need to do so just we take one what is that uh, request dot okay request dot get is the body headers we get the headers so headers is headers coming set of it's returning what is that here you can see it is returning http headers http http headers it is returning http headers It's returning HTTP header with HTTP spring with this, like this API. Headers, perfect. All the headers coming inside this. Okay, so now taking this headers, headers dot key set, key set, it's returning as the set of keys. So set of key set of set of strings it's, it's key set key set find that set perfect so i need to iterate from that <clears throat> okay so so what is the key set dot for each and the key we get it and inside the key inside the key we get that value right so what we had as dot had as dot get key is passing the key and by using passing key we get the value list of here here you can see get is returning list of right here you can see get is returning list of strings so just take one variable list of list of strings strings like values right so i need to import that i need to print that value inside this so this stress this trace inside the sys trace we print the, the values plus okay and plus keys which is the key and the value we print it we print one logger also if you want just for the printing purpose but right now it's not okay so here what is that uh, returning um mm -hmm. what is that chain dot dot filter of the exchange let's see how we can do this so it's make it as the bean at the red string bean at the red component and so it's make it as a bean so object it will create it so just rerun that your API. So I will show that with the 
all the information it's coming where you get the where you send in the request okay so now it's up let me check Eureka server is up remove all that mm -hmm. in the that, um, mm -hmm. inside the API gateway remove all that information here and uh, hit the request from the API gateway you need to wait wait uh, okay so I need to just okay so here say hello say hello we are waiting ram okay 909 all i greet api in the internally okay greet is not the v1 okay maybe we didn't change the name on that so it will not come i will change that name okay so we get that response here now let's check Inside the console, we get the information like that. Keep we put it inside. Mm -hmm. You can observe. You can observe this difference. Okay. It is not good, so not required to put it here, right? So just you, you need to the notepad. There I am going to show you. Paste it here. Now observe this. We get the connections. Okay, we uh, where you send the request in the Google Chrome browser. Okay, where it is getting in the none navigated patch document default accept array accept languages like that so i need to change that browser also so right now we are sending chrome now in the edge i need to send so local host 9090 slash v1 to greet slash vivid right so just i need to remove that uh, console remove that clear and uh, okay in the Okay, here let's send the request. V1, not V1. Okay, V1, right? Yeah. Now, here we get the request. We get the request. Okay, here you can see, observe this inside the okay, get the console. We get the logs, we get that headers, not a logs. We get the headers. So, so little bit difference is there inside the headers. Yeah. So, now here you can say Microsoft Edge. Here we get the Google Chrome. So inside the headers, you can identify the request where the request is coming. So in the authentication, we pass the tokens. No? In the authentication, we pass the tokens. So now need to pass postman. Postman, open postman here. Open that postman. So I may get all request you can take it. Yeah. So here we need to change the 909 slash v1 slash greet slash uh, raja. Right. Now uh, remove that previous logs, previous print statements. These methods are pending. Okay. After I will show you the how to print that. Time stamp, how much request, how much time it will be taking to the request. Okay, I will show you. So, mm -hmm. send the request. We will get the response like that. Why? Because the HTML page is there, right? So, it is getting. So, here, um, let me check that uh, console like that. Where I talk on. Okay. So now, 
no here you can check this is the token this is the value for the postman token it's the default token that they are providing it the postman token is sending to that header default by default the postman runtime user agent is ascending and like that postman is the accept application slash json is there. right so i need to disable this okay send the request yeah. again you will get the same so now i need to pass that headers inside the headers accept i am passing and token right token what what token token right here I am passing give it ITSP at the rate one four one one two one two write that like that I am saying. So just I need to clear this console or send the request. Now here you can see I will teach I will difference. I am just taking the difference. Now we put the now right this time with the postman token is this there and your token is there itsp at the rate author token there so this type of data if you want like authorize your request your token is valid or not valid in the security next upcoming session i will teach you how to perform the security okay in the upcoming session okay so now when you pass the security like tokens so here you can write the logic here you can write the logic and validate the validate the tokens token as valid or not valid like that so now next i need to i need to what is that i need to add what is that i need to add i need to add i need to add header inside the coding as well so you can do this it's totally different for you dot here i will show you don't worry here dot <clears throat> uh what much i think so dot let me see which method okay muted muted is the method is the muted okay muted so muted dot muted dot merge compute get authorized by remove okay formatted headers are there so here we can observe request to modify notification you can modify you can modify the incoming request for example <laughs> Okay. by adding or removing the headers okay the exchange dot exchange dot get request dot muted get request dot muted get headers not get headers request exchange dot e not this one to check okay so here you need to copy this. I need to modify that request also. Paste it dot muted dot header header passing that header. Here you pass the header name. My header 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 value you can pass header value you can pass. Right. Value of header value of this enter value of value of just a number value of header like some something like ABC like right? that dot build right so now let's see we get this header or no just we need to refresh this okay go and check refresh in place okay remove this i need to remove that console also and send the request okay same request i'm sending again send the request we are getting the request and here you can change here you can change your your data is also there 
we can modify our data. Now previously we didn't get our modifier. Right now we get the token, we get the, the value, we get that my headers. And like that you can send your headers as so. Now I want to one thing like I want to find the how much time to take the request like to elapsed request you can see. Okay. So uh, the long we can take a long start time. Start time equals to system dot system dot uh, current time. Right here in the exchange dot do finally do finally signal signal type signal type okay and uh, do signal type inside the signal type we pass do first name do final do final to finally signal type okay inside this i need to elapse the time so long long elapsed time elapsed time means on the between how much time it is taking to process the request so the current time we need to okay system dot current time minus system current time minus start time So now here you can print like mm -hmm. this out. Request to process process time process time. Okay, plus in a millisecond it will be lapsed lapsed time plus. So now let's see how much time it is taking to request. Okay. Now remove this. Okay, remove very, very important. Some important points is there. Okay, remove this. Now let's see. Send the request and see how much time it is taking. Right now it's taking. 17 milliseconds, right? 17 milliseconds. Now I need to send another request to the right v1. Uh, okay, and uh, direct I need to pass v1. Mm -hmm. Here application.yml go hello, 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 hello. We can pass that hello, hello, right? Send it now. We get that hello. How much time it is taking to process this request? Go and check. Now it's a 17 seconds, milliseconds. Okay. So now mm -hmm, I need to send the request 100 request 100 service. Take Raja instead of Raja V. Send. Now let's see how this is the last time it is taking. Okay. So now go inside this. Right now it's not a filter channel, right? So it is not giving a request to me. Clear. Hello. FB one. Okay. Nine zero nine zero. Nine zero nine zero. V. Hello. It is taking three milliseconds. This is taking three milliseconds right now. Now if we call it inter communication, inter service communication, so it is taking more time. What is that interceptive use communication? Greet slash B1 slash greet. Greet right. interceptive use communication. Here in the interceptive, you get a 21 milliseconds. It is taking so that's why it is taking more time to V1 slash uh, nice. I think so. I put it one nice. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, nice to meet you. We get it. So, how much time this is taking? Six milliseconds. So, this is the beauty of filter chaining. So, right now, how we can perform the filter chaining like that? You can perform filter chain. So, I was I have already provided that notes, but I'm one more time. I'm just putting here. 
So we are going to reference for first test it. Yeah. Now it's a grade two. Okay. So we completed up to this. So this is the API is developing. We implement the filter chain also API get So that uh, what is that we completed? We completed our microservice architecture. We completed our microservices architecture. We completed our microservice architecture. These small small components are the cache, config. This is the small one sessions I will take. This is completed. And Kafka is the more of an advanced topic. I will take a session for that. And cache also. This is the small topic also. So these three topics are remaining. And all these things are completed. In the detail I have taught you. So please follow this speech. Thank you. We will meet in the next config server session.